y'all, it's American Mom. I am watching How to Get Away with Murder, and I can't seem to stop. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. I know that. I was in the last episode. Sorry. I just have to watch another one, and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> and then I'll watch more tomorrow, but I'm just... <laughs> I just want to, like, you know, pull this up on the TV and just get comfortable in the bed and then just, like, watch it. But I'm doing it this way, and that's fine, but this is that kind of show. Last episode, really stressful. Okay, so this episode is called The Best Christmas Ever. Okay, let's do this. Hamrick Hotel, Philadelphia, Christmas Day. I said it was time for that. But why is she in a hotel? 28th, 29th, 30th, same day, okay. 31st, now she's passed out. What, how was your trip? She was tripping. Phone calls. Oh, I went home. I had to get my head together. To your mother's house, Bonnie said. Can you at least tell me if you're concerned about him? Of course. Then why leave? When a person goes missing. Fled, you mean? Either way, you don't leave. You stay. You put up posters. What about foul play? Why isn't that the first thing you think of? Foul play. That, that maybe he's been hurt. None of this makes any sense. We spent the entire Labor Day weekend together. We, we went over, we had lobsters at Hemingway's, and he helped fix the screen door on my front porch. Great! And we talked about you, about how much he wanted that new job at Yale. How could he have done all those little things after he just strangled a girl to death? I don't know. He's a psychopath! People don't make sense. Exactly! What is this? It's gonna be a problem. And I like this actress. Hey there, killer. Funny. Yeah, funny. It's new semester. It's also <laughs> kind exciting. Of isn't it? How's everyone's break? What is that? It's a fake. I bought it with cash at a Joey Mart in Chinatown. Did Annalise scare her back to Boston yet, or did she just kill her? What are you talking about? Sam's sister. She got here right before the break. She went to the police, said she didn't leave any of it. They obviously she didn't know. Now they're all nervous again. This all is right. how to get away with murder the second semester, when things get even harder than the first. Oh, hell. <laughs> I feel like I've gone through this class. How are you? I'm tired. I can imagine. I hope she's giving them all good grades, just regardless, because of this. You've got to walk in who claims she needs a lawyer for a DUI incident. Oh, we're going to have fun? What precinct gave you the DUI? Excuse me? DUIs are issued with paperwork from the precinct that pulled you over. Have you got a good enough look yet? At the house where the Middleton Strangler lived? God, I miss this place. <laughs> no, that's not why. Who are you? I think you're gonna want to take my case. I've already decided I don't. My husband's holding two girls captive in our basement. Oh, I have chills. Oh, hell no. I hardly ever talked to him. She said he was a freak. And there's this claw marks on the wall. What's that about? You did better last night. I only had to wake you once. Hmm. I'm sorry. Where did he go? She's pregnant again. About to deliver. How old are they? Last time the baby died, so that's why I'm here. Oh my gosh. Did you hear her? She's not helping. She was 16 when she met him. She's a victim of his abuse too. But she's an adult now. PTSD. Have none of you ever done anything bad that you need a lawyer for? <laughs> Accessory after the fact, no jail time, treatment for medical and psychological conditions. Well, that's going to be hard without even giving us her name. Wow. Well. There are two girls rotting in a basement, one of whom's about to give birth. If that man doesn't beat her to death first. Ah! The little girl was stillborn. I can't let that happen again. So the girls can finally be safe. Oh. How long have they, they been there? Be safe. Aw. Okay. They were about her oh, age when it happened to her. Police officer's wife called from upstate New York and said she thinks she saw him at a rest stop. Ooh, let's look into that. Bonnie, you're supposed to do your job and look out for shit like this, remember? Put her in a water tank. Now he's gone missing. This is who you've been working for? <laughs> oh, she's Hispanic. Vete, por favor. Vete. 
We'll hold an in-camera session tomorrow. No public, no jury, no press. Why does she look nervous? Next case. She doesn't want it to happen? Fire me when I could file a sexual harassment suit. Oh, come on, Asher. Everybody's threatening everybody. Okay, I see why she's being held. Because they think she was in on it. But this is why she didn't go to the police. Because they would have done this. You won't talk to me. I have no choice but to find answers to my questions in more unorthodox ways. By stalking me. Call it what you want. Stalking? She really shouldn't be with him while he's just been missing. <laughs> she should know this. They always feel guilty for like a minute. And then they... I told her about you. She wants me to be happy. Wow. Okay. That just... Stunned me. Okay, back to Christmas Eve. Michigan, Connor's family, okay? Tell me so I can help. No. My slutty little brother is finally growing up. Hmm? I don't know about that. And now Oliver thinks he's a drug addict. My grandma made it. Which, they're gonna test him and he's not gonna have any drugs in his system. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Sexy. Hey, grab your coat. We're going to be late for a reservation at Moretti's. We're not dating. And last I heard, you were supposed to be dealing with a drug problem. I haven't used since that night. Stay on your end of the couch. And That's not going to last. I what I, my car was stolen. What? Are you kidding? Do you think I would make a joke about this, Michaela? I want the insurance money. Forget him. Go tell Annie. What is going on? Was there Look at this Farker. I hate him. His husband. Was Jackie ever there during the times that Mr. Grove visited you at night? No. But she would visit us before. Give us milk. She said it would help put us to sleep so we wouldn't have to know what he was doing. That's how she's coping. Don't look at each other like that. You drug them? I was trying to help them. By helping your husband rape those girls, make them pliable. Oh. You've never been raped, have you? So yes, I helped put them to sleep. That's what I was thinking. Only so they wouldn't have the memories. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but it didn't come across that way, did it? You find it? No, and he won't because you stole it. And probably already had it destroyed. It's also why you're hanging out with Asher. Oh. So it's kind of suspicious to keep your enemies close type thing. Okay. okay. That makes more sense than him not trying to help them. Our little girl is stillborn. She says our little girl. Right. Like, the baby's hers, too. That baby is alive, isn't she? That's why you wanted a plea where you served no time. Because you're raising the baby you told Lynn was born dead. She's my little girl. What? I'm not up for this. Where is she, Jackie? Yeah. Tell me right now. Where is she? Get me my plea, do you? Then I'll tell you where she is. Okay, now we've gone batshit crazy. I know she's messed up, but wait a minute. You know you don't have the balls. Over here. Yeah. I can't interfere with my legal right to protest. No. That's enough. I'm sure. He's just trying to be a dick now because he can't get his way. She just turned four, and I saw the way he started looking at her. I couldn't let that happen. Shame. 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 Is someone with Heather? Is she being taken care of? Is it really a Heather? She has a buddy, a giraffe, that she talks to when she is scared at night. Is she schizophrenic? What's... Thank God I don't have a gun outside shooting myself. She didn't tell you where she is? No, not unless the deal is on the table. Where's the DA? It's just around the corner. What is happening? She is messed up, but we're... Protect the only innocent person left in all of this filth. She's in a cabin my aunt owned. By herself? With the baby giraffe? Animal? Stuffed animal? What? Okay. She's really messed up. Oh, she does have a baby giraffe. Oh, God, I don't like this. Oh, she looks unhappy. Look at her. I'm scared I might be going crazy. 
No. Great. That's great. He's the most stable no. one. I don't want to tell you people anything about myself. Okay, fine. But then you can't secretly hate us, okay? Because that is exactly how we're going to end up getting caught. Why are they talking out in the open? I hate that. I'm Hannah, Sam's sister. What's going on? Michaela. Who are you? Michaela, stop. Are you two screwing? Excuse me? They're probably related. Michaela, this is Holden Westcott. We work together on the mayor's campaign. Uh. I think we should postpone the wedding. Uh oh. No. Things aren't going great. <laughs> no. And what about the fact that Sam's DNA was nowhere on that girl? And Liz would be able to get this case thrown out with her eyes closed. I know how special you were to Sam. Why? Why was she special to Sam? I still don't know anything about that. She was dehydrated and malnourished, but she's okay. Oh, thank God. You're not going to get her back. With Lynn. Maybe when she's 18, once she understands why I did this, she'll want to see me again. You won't be out of jail by then. But I'm not going to jail. I have a deal. Oh, no. I said you had a deal. Yeah. But no one was here to testify to that fact, just you. You know, the only good liar in this room. I've withdrawn as your lawyer. <sighs> Good luck finding a new one. Oh, she's... I look forward to the thorn birds. Don't you get it? You you go through life looking like you do, meeting guys all the time, but me, you're... You were special to He's me. He's good looking. And then you hooked up with that other guy. Oliver, I, I really like you, too. I more than like you. Damn it. Like... Connor. You know the way that you can't do drugs? That's how you are for me. Oh. We can we can take this slow. But she wants answers, Annalise. You want me to handle it? Just say the word. What does that mean? No. Would. I am not asking you to cry on my shoulder, Annalise. I am asking you to be a real I person. I am who I am. If you don't like it, I don't care. Oh, you do care. Otherwise, you wouldn't be so busy avoiding me so that I couldn't see through you to see what this performance is all about. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Literally. Okay, what's she gonna say? When did you start sleeping with Nate? This summer. And that was after Sam was sleeping with Lila. When did you find out about Lila? Three months ago. Got rid of evidence. I did things that would have ruined my practice. Got me arrested. I tried to help him. Okay. Just leaving out a lot of information, but this is this is good. This is true. It's not true, is it? He's somewhere. We have a real nightmare. Remains were found one week ago at the landfill, and although police have yet to come forward with a public statement, our sources tell us the body belongs to Middleton University professor Sam Keating, reported missing by his wife on December the 13th. Bonds were found. This show. Okay, the case. For, let's just. I just let me get that off my chest because. I kind of really felt sorry for the person that Annie was uh, representing. And then it made sense why she didn't want to turn in her husband, even though he had those girls captive for at least four years that we know of, because the child is now four. But anyway, so she got Annie and the, the crew to take her case, and it just got weirder and weirder. And I could kind of see her being this young victim. And before she even met her husband, she had been abused. So, yeah. This trauma, like, emotional, physical. Like, I get all that. I get it. It just follows you. And it's like it messes you up. But then she, it just got weird when they learned that the baby had lived. The first baby had lived. And she was keeping her. And... It just got Annie to her breaking point. And, she, okay, so she's going to jail. Little girl was, like, dehydrated and, oh, she looked pitiful. Okay, 
Okay, so that happened. So that was the case we had. But then, like, we really focused on the Christmas uh, break. And, well, we saw that um, Annie was up in a hotel in Philadelphia, and all she was doing was drinking vodka and having candy. The sister-in-law, Hannah, is, is there. She is snooping. I was extremely tense this whole episode with her being around and asking questions and you know Annie's not really the grieving wife of a missing person type thing and but I know that she and Hannah are not close I mean that that was obvious we see how all the students spent their holidays also with their families and they're not as they say for the most part especially um, Michaela she's acting like everything's still fine and that she's still getting married. Yeah, he postponed the wedding. Probably gonna call it off. Laurel with her family, yeah. Wes is just having these nightmares and I'm surprised not, you know, all of them aren't having the nightmares. But Connor, I think Oliver is letting him back slowly. It's gonna take time. But Connor needs to stop sleeping with people to get information. The end, I mean, it was kind of inevitable. I, when they were throwing away the bones, just like in the dumpster, I remember I, at the when they were doing that, I remember saying, like, are there cameras, you know, in that, like on the walls and stuff? Like, they might even trace it back. I know on the criminal shows they do that as well. But Frank, I do like that Frank got rid of Connor's car. But he made him feel like, oh, like maybe, maybe the police took it. But Laurel figured that out and she told him thank you. I like that he did that. He still kind of, he can be sleazy sometimes for me. But this is, y'all got to remember, I'm only, I'm still trying to figure everybody out. I did enjoy that episode a lot. I am going to have to call it a night though. I can barely keep my eyes open now. I was just really engrossed, but now that I'm like kind of talking and I'm, I'm kind of like calming down, I'm starting to feel like sleepy. But I will watch more of these tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to finish season one because I really, I mean, I, I want to watch the next one. I just, I need to stay awake and pay attention. So I'll be doing that. But thank you for watching this with me. Until the next video and the next time.